Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial on using Canvas, the online classroom tool at Sierra College. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you important steps to take in Canvas before your classes start. Please feel free to pause this video at any time while you follow along. There are some links listed below in the description for additional tutorials that may be helpful to you. As we get started with some tech tips, please know these are steps you will need to take on your personal device to ensure that you can access all the content in Canvas. Tech tip number one is to use a compatible browser, which would include Chrome, Firefox, Edge, or Safari. Canvas will only work on these browsers. In the Student Tech Support Department, we see the least amount of issues when using Chrome and Firefox. If you would like more information on browser compatibility, please use the tutorial link in the description below. Tech tip number two is to disable pop-up blockers. Many classes in Canvas will use links to other websites that will need to open up in a new tab or window. If you have pop-up blockers enabled for Canvas, you may not be able to access the material needed for your coursework. Please feel free to follow along and pause this video as needed while I go through the steps to disable pop-up blockers. I will be using the computer version of Google Chrome. Start by opening the Settings menu in the upper right corner of your Chrome screen, then click on Settings. On the far left side of your screen, click on Privacy and Security, then Site Settings towards the middle of your screen. Scroll down to click on Pop-ups and Redirects. Click on the Add button next to sites that are allowed to send pop-ups and use redirects. Type in the Canvas web address shown on your screen. Click Add once more to finish. If you would like more information on pop-up blockers, please use the tutorial link in the description below. Tech tip number three is to allow cookies, and we do this from the Chrome settings menu again. As a reminder, click on the menu in the upper right corner of your Chrome screen, then click on settings. On the far left side of your screen, click on privacy and security, then cookies and other site data toward the middle of your screen. Scroll down to sites that can always use cookies. Click on the Add button and type in the Canvas web address as shown on your screen. Click Add once more to finish. Now that we have those important steps completed, let's talk about some of the features and tools in Canvas. If you are following along, please log in to My Sierra now. On the My Sierra Home tab, scroll down to click on Canvas Online Classes and Gradebook. When Canvas opens, you will see a red bar along the side of your screen with helpful icons. This red bar is called the Global Navigation Bar. We will start by going over the landing page, which is called the Dashboard. The Dashboard allows you to easily access your classes as well as the Student Support Shell that contains many helpful resources. If you do not see your classes on the Dashboard, click on the Courses icon on the red Navigation Bar to the left. Then click on the link for all courses. Only published courses will display on your dashboard, so make sure the one you're looking for says yes under the published heading. If your class is not published, first check the dates of your class 
in the class schedule online. Some classes start later in the term and are called late start classes. Instructors typically wait to publish their course content until the class is about to begin. If your class has started and it is not published, please reach out to your instructor as soon as possible. The instructor is the only one who can publish the class to be available for you to access. For published courses, click on the star icon next to the course name to favorite it. This means it will display on your dashboard from now on. If you do not see your class listed in the All Courses menu, please verify your registration with Admissions and Records or by accessing the View My Classes by Semester link under Registration and Classes in My Sierra. The account icon in the global navigation bar is where you can access your account settings. In settings, you can add other contact methods to your account and then set up notifications. If you are following along, the recommendations we're about to go over are not required, but highly encouraged from our distance learning department. This feature is helpful to many students as you're able to set up notifications to your personal email or via text message to your cell phone. In the upper right corner, your Sierra College email address will be listed under Ways to Contact. To add your personal email address, click on the plus email address button, type in your email address, then register email. To add your phone number for text message notifications, click on the plus contact method under other contacts, enter your cell phone number and select your carrier, then register SMS. Any additional contact methods need to be confirmed before notifications can be sent. Please confirm via email or text message whichever method you added. Now we can set up how often you receive notifications and for which features. In the account menu, click on notifications. You can change notifications for your account as a whole or by individual class. We will continue with account level notifications, but please feel free to adjust your notifications as you see fit. You are able to set up notifications for each course activity listed. Hover over the notification icon displayed for the frequency set for each notification. You can also hover over the course activities listed for more information about that feature. We recommend you set daily notifications for announcements, due dates, submission comments, discussion posts, and global announcements. As a reminder, these are recommendations for your success and not a requirement. If you are following along, please feel free to pause this video while you adjust your notifications. Tech tip number five is to use the Canvas inbox to communicate with your instructor and classmates. You can find the inbox in the global navigation bar. The Canvas inbox is only for communication within your classes. Please be sure to check your email in My Sierra for emails from other Sierra College departments that need to contact you, like admissions, financial aid, counseling, etc. There is another tutorial video specific to the Canvas Inbox features. If you would like to view that video, please use the tutorial link in the description below. The calendar feature in Canvas will show you assignments, due dates, and other events that have been added to your course. This can be a helpful tool in planning your week. The studio icon represents the video recording tool in Canvas. 
You can screen record and webcam record using this program, which can be helpful in online classes. There is another tutorial video specific to the Canvas Studio. If you would like to view that video, please use the tutorial link in the description below. The student support icon is full of resources for you and is very similar to the student support shell that you can see on your dashboard. Check it out if you need help from the library, tutoring, writing center, and student tech support. The help icon will open the help menu where you can get help from your instructor, from Canvas, from student tech support, and many others. If you don't know where to start, you can either submit a Canvas help ticket or chat with Sierra College student tech support, and we will help troubleshoot or guide you. Tech tip number six, use the course navigation links in your class. If you're following along, please click on a class that displays on your dashboard. Course navigation links are often referred to as blue links. These links will help you navigate around your online classroom. Each class will have a different set of blue links based on what the instructor has added for you. You can show and hide the course navigation links by clicking on the hamburger menu next to the class name. Tech tip number seven. Make sure you read and understand the syllabus for each class. The syllabus will contain very important information and instructions for your success. And remember, each class is different. Please familiarize yourself with each class syllabus. To recap, these recommendations are for your success as a student here at Sierra College. Please be sure to use a compatible browser, disable pop-up blockers, allow cookies for Canvas before you get started using Canvas. When getting ready for the semester, remember to favorite your classes so they will show up on the dashboard. If your classes are not listed, check the dates of the class and verify your enrollment with admissions. Instructors are responsible for publishing courses. Please be sure to reach out to them directly if your class is not published. Stay updated with your class by adding other contact methods to your account and manage notification frequency in your account settings. While attending classes online, start familiarizing yourself with the class syllabus. Remember to check both your Canvas inbox for class communications as well as your Sierra College email in My Sierra for communications from other Sierra College departments. Use the Canvas Studio tool for video recordings. And you can always find help in the help menu. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this tutorial. If you need any additional help with Canvas, please email, call, or live chat with us. You're also welcome to visit us in the Learning Commons Lab on the Rockland or Nevada County campus. Thank you again.